Hello everyone, Mr. Shepard here again, and we are going to be looking at some art again today, and our Walt is to draw a picture of a mushroom using a pencil. Okay, so here's just some pictures of mushrooms to remind us what they look like. Mushrooms growing in the garden. So we can see we've got different shapes there. Uh, we've got our more rounded kind of mushrooms, and then we've got flatter mushrooms with more irregular sort of shapes for their tops okay we're gonna have a look at just this video um, and have a look at some mushrooms growing I don't think you'll get any sound on this but the main thing is just we're just having a look at different types of mushrooms really getting an idea of what mushrooms what different kind of mushrooms there are in the world, different shapes. This is obviously time lapse. So that means that they have days or weeks to watch how they, how they grow and how they grow. Very there. Just think when you're out, you might need to be very careful and don't cut the Today we're going to be drawing the Okay, so there you go. Mushrooms in the wild, all sorts of different types of mushrooms there. All right, now, getting back to our PowerPoint. All right, so we've got all these different types of mushrooms. Some of those we saw on the video. Uh, these are illustrations of them that, if you remember from previous lessons, these be biological. Uh, artwork, so very realistic artwork, but still artwork. Someone's drawn those. Okay, um, let's just give you an idea of all the different shapes and sizes and colours that we get with mushrooms. And here are some of those mushrooms that I said we were going to try and draw today. Okay, so what what colours can you see there, and what sort of shapes can you see? So obviously we've got reds now. We're going to be drawing in pencil, but later on you will be able to colour them in in pencil or another colour if you want to. Okay, some more mushrooms there. Now, this is our draw along exercise. It's going to be a bit difficult on the screen. Let's see how we go. So, we've got step one up the top there. So, the first thing we want to draw is just that shape. Okay, so you're going to do this very lightly on paper and you're literally just going to draw that triangular shape up the top left there and then you're going to draw the stem which is just a rectangle attached now remember when we were doing our lessons before we were learning to sort of press lightly or press harder this is where you want to press very lightly you don't leave any kind of imprint in the page okay so this is a skill that's quite difficult at your age to to get used to but you can just make a very very faint line so you can only just barely see it okay and that can be your starting point for your picture all right once we've drawn that and we go on to step two you can see step two up here so this is our first step we're drawing our triangle 
and then we're drawing our rectangle and as i say that's very very light because these we don't want to see these lines at the end they're just to guide us okay now we can see in the next step we've started at the left edge of this triangle and we've drawn a very slight curve to the other edge okay that would be your first step and then you've got to arc this way see how it comes around and it just touches the top of your triangle and then it goes back and it joins this other corner so that's how you would do it okay that's all you need to do for step two okay so step three we've got this part now all we're doing here is making our our stem a little bit wider a bit more bottle sort of shaped so that we're coming a little bit wider on each side again you're not pressing hard while you're doing this you're pressing very very lightly so that if you need to make changes if you've got a, a rubber that you can rub stuff out um, you can make those changes as you go along okay so we're not pressing hard at all at the moment right now next step is just to draw these three, three circles on one two three okay and then our next step they're just adding a little bit more detail here you can very see very faintly those three circles that they've just drawn and then a more oval like shape on the top okay so just draw a very light oval and then you're going to draw these little circles just inside there okay notice that they're long quite long uh shapes so these are a little bit uh wider compared to these these are more narrow and that's to try and give your drawing a little bit of perspective okay because these are on the top so if you're looking at the mushroom straight on like this you would see even if all of these spots were the same size the ones that you would see facing towards you would look wider than the ones on the top okay they would look longer and narrower all right and then we've just added this little bit of detail in here this is just a little place i think basically that's to give you an idea of where the light's hitting it so your shading would be more around this way and you'd be leaving this this part lighter okay to show some sort of um light hitting your drawing or light hitting the mushroom in your drawing i should say we've got another example here of how you could go about it and you could follow this one where you start with this cap draw the line down there draw the other line then draw the smaller mushroom here and just follow those steps along in the exact same way that we just have okay and then it's going to be up to you to decide what do you want to do you can use your um, pencil and you can just uh, use your shading techniques with your pencil to color that in and see if you can create this kind of effect of light and dark and think about where you're going to make dark areas if your light's coming from this way we saw on that other video our our shading would be more to this side and get gradually lighter as we came to this part and this part would be very light okay or you could do if you wanted to use a pencil and color it in whatever color you think you'd like to draw it okay all right that's your job for today you should end up with something similar to this at the end okay we're, we're trying to represent something that looks like these kind of mushrooms all right so have a go at that have a bit of fun with it if you need to do a few um have a few different goes at it you can do that and i hope you uh do well with that and send them in and we'll have a look and we might show a few when we do our um our little celebration assembly thing that we're doing at the end of um end of the week okay cheers All right bye bye